Peaks are sitting at two and two. And as part of our long homestand here at the beginning of the season, we will be hosting the Chompers, <clears throat> who are sitting at one and three. On the mound for the Chompers will be Jimmy Blanco. Crimp Jimson going for the Peaks, sitting at one and zero oh with a 3.0 ERA. Blanco also uh, with a 1-0 and record through the first part of the season here. And let's jump right into the action. Let's check our lineup here. We're going to take Mush out, and we're going to put Rip Rock in at shortstop. Downvote will take a game off. Vander Higgs will come back in behind the dish. And let's see if we want to move anybody around. I think we'll leave the batting order the same way. And let's get into it. Chompers will bat first because they're the visiting team and that's how baseball works. Crimp Jimson on the mound for the Peaks. The first batter he will face will be Brickley Flounder. Brickley batting 389 through the first four games of the season. And he takes strike one from Jimson on the inside corner. The 0-1 is fouled away and Jimson quickly out in front. And that is a fly ball left field off the wall fair. It bounces away from past me. That's going to be a leadoff double for Flounder. Ray Middleman will be the batter. Nobody out. Runner at second for Middleman. And he takes a strike there. Jimson working quickly. And getting out in front. Swing and a miss. First strike out of the day for Jimson. His seventh of the year. He struck out six in his first appearance. And Mildred Greenman. Mildred Greenman. Easy for me to say. Will be the next batter. Runner at second here. One away. And the count one and one on Greenman. They go in on her hands. She swings and misses at that one. 1-2 one pitch coming to Greenman. Popped into the air. Foul territory. Pootstink heads over. He's going to run out of real estate, and that's going to get out of play. 1-2 and two pitch coming. Another foul ball. Greenman distributing souvenirs early in this one. And she sends another one out of play. She'll have another 1-2 pitch coming right here. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout. Second of the inning for Jimson. As he is mowing down Chompers. Strike one to Samplemore. This is hit on a line to right field. Puffy going back. Turns around, makes the catch, ends the inning. The Chompers get a base runner aboard with a leadoff double, but they strand him there. We head to the bottom of the first inning. No runs for the Chompers. Peaks coming to the plate for the first time. And leading it off will be Kanga Trang. Trang batting 364 through the first four games of the season. She takes ball one inside here. And that one misses as well. As he's nibbling at the corners is Blanco. And she turns on that one, sends it the other way, a base hit into right field. Trang leads off the inning with a single. And that'll bring Jimmy Pootstink to the plate. Pootstink batting 389 also through the first four games. And he takes a strike on the inside corner there to start this at bat. And he puts a charge into that ball. On the run, Roca makes the catch. Made good contact there. But Roca comes over from right field and makes the grab to record the out. Here's Arlo Puffy. One away for Puffy with a runner at first. Strike one at the letters. And he gets underneath this one. He pops it back. Is it going to find the screen? It will. 0-2 on Puffy. 
And that is ball one, a little bit high. Hey, Michael, yeah, my Sunday is going well. Thanks for asking. There's a base hit into the alley, left center field. A one out hit there, and Fat Fuck will come to the plate. His average through the first four, 500. <clears throat> And that's a well-hit ball into the alley. That's going to be over everybody's head. Big bounce off the top of the padding. And it looks like two runs will score off the bat of Fat Fuck. Hope your Sunday is good as well, Michael. As Tina Passmi steps to the plate, 471 his average early in the season here. And he takes a strike over the inside corner. Runner at second for him, one away here in the bottom of the first. Golfs that one out to center field. High but not deep. Middleman makes the catch near the warning track. Hey, Filthy. How you doing, bud? Nice to see you. Hope everything is well for you on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. There's a fly ball, deep center field. Center fielder going back, runs out of real estate, and this is in the garden. A two-run shot to straightaway center field. 415 feet, Rip Rock's first of the year. And the Peaks go on top by four runs here in the bottom of the first. Spike Dingus stepping in now. A respectable 375 for him on the young season. And this one is down in the alley. That'll be a single to right center field. And the hits keep coming for the Peaks here in the first inning. Here is Klebel Vanderhiggs starting behind the plate for the Peaks today. And a swing and a miss on a pretty good fastball from Blanco there. Catches the top of the zone there. And a little swing inside out, just protecting the zone. That'll be popped up to Flounder at shortstop, or at second base. Leading off the top of the second for the Chompers will be Flown King. She faces off here against Jimson and takes a fastball at the knees for strike one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And that'll be strike two. They climb the ladder on her, and that is good for the third strikeout of the day for Jimson. As he is throwing BBs to start this one off. Line drive over the head of Dingus. That's going to be a base hit into right field. Nina McFurlow at the plate. And there's another line drive. That one is going to be in the alley. Trang and Puffy both give chase. Runner is going to try for home. The throw from Puffy is not going to be in time. That's going to be a triple and an RBI. And the Chompers get on the board. Bertram Swiggins at the plate now. First pitch breaks his bat. And the curveball finds the outside corner for strike two. Here's the 0-2 to Swiggins. Another broken bat. And Jimson is running through the lumber today. Another foul ball. And the changeup finds the corner. Another strikeout. Second of the inning, fourth of the day for Jimson. As he continues to throw smoke and fire here. This is popped up into left field. Pass me coming over. Makes the catch at the edge of the track. That'll end the inning. The Chompers get on the board. They still trail by three as we head to the bottom of the second. And the pitcher Jimson will lead it off for the Peaks. So how often do broken bats actually occur in real baseball? Pretty often. Fairly often. Back, 
I don't know if I could put like a percentage on it or or anything like that, but it's it's not a very rare occurrence. Those balls are coming in pretty fast, and the bats are swinging pretty fast, and they make the handles thinner and thinner every year, trying to take off as much weight from the bat as they can. So they're not the stoutest pieces of wood down near the handle. There's a drive from Pootstink. High and deep to center field on the track. Middleman makes the catch. And that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Peaks in the bottom of the second. We head to the third now. Four to one Peaks, your score. We head back to the top of the Chompers order. And Brickley Flounder, who's one for one today. Singled in his first at bat. And he takes strike one here. And it is now 0-2 on Flounder. And that is going to sneak through the right side of the infield. Puffy's still hoping for that right field assist. Hasn't gotten it yet. He's actually going to make a baseball bat for my brother once when I was a professional woodworker with access to a pattern lather and really nice American white ash from Pennsylvania. Nice. That would have been cool. I've always kind of wanted to do it, even though, like, I'm not... Well, I'm not a woodworker. Uh, and a not much of a baseball player but I've always been a fan I, I was always kind of wanted to uh, to make a bat go to somebody's house that had a lathe and just try making a bat seems like it would be a relatively easy shape to turn um, again I say that not really being a woodworker but understanding a uh, understanding the concept of it you know another strikeout for Jimson I always thought it would be a relatively simple shape to turn on a lathe. That would definitely be fun. Set up with the tooling, yeah. I've never actually, I had a friend who inherited a nice, nice lathe at one point, um, but I never really played with it much. But it always looks like it would be really fun. I don't know, it just seems like a fun thing to do to me for some reason. Another strikeout. Sixth on the day for Jimson. And he has already matched his total from his first appearance through the first three innings of this game. And he's quickly up 0-2 on this batter. Heidi Samplemore at the plate. And another strikeout. Jimson strikes out the side. His seventh of the day. After two and a half, it's 4-1 peaks. Sawdust in the blood now. Yep. Now the right. Here is Arlo Puffy to lead off the bottom half of the third inning, and he takes strike one at the knees. Goes down to get this one, sends it into the gap. Right center field, that'll be a leadoff single. And he is aboard. As Fat Fuck steps in, he's got a double today and two RBIs. He steps in here with a runner aboard, nobody out. And he got underneath it a little bit, pops it up middle of the infield. Shortstop Nick Furlow comes over to make the catch. And that'll bring Tina past me to the plate. Yeah, I don't have the... Uh, the equipment or the space to really do that. That's why I got into uh, 3D printing last year because I've always been a fan of the idea of making stuff but not having access to uh, those kind of tools. I've always been unable to do it. But being able to design something in the computer and print it out is, is also pretty cool. And that's a base hit into center field. It drops right in front of Middleman. Another run is in. And the score is now 5-1 to one in favor of the Peaks. That is cranked foul into the upper deck by Dingus. Strike two. As he thought that one was a little high, didn't complete the swing. That is hit on the ground to Flounder. And Flounder pounds her over to first base. That'll end the inning. Peaks get another run on the board. They lead by four, five to one. As we head to the top of the fourth inning, King, Roca, and McFurlow 
will be the batters. They will face Jimson, who has seven strikeouts already today. And he delivers the nothing, nothing. It's over the outside corner for a strike. Crimp Jimson putting it in good places. The 0 2 pitch coming in to King. And that is hit on a line, but right at Dingus at second. Dingus to Pootstink for out number one. And here's Philippe Roca with one down in the inning. He will face Jimson and he will take strike one. No surprise there as Jimson is putting him over the plate all day long. Here's the 0 2. Hit on the ground, another opportunity for Dingus. And another out at first. Two away now for McFurlow. Batting 364 this year, and he takes the first pitch. A rare ball from Jimson, as that one is up and out of the zone. And another chance for Dingus. Dingus records all three outs this inning. Three ground balls to second, three outs on the board. We head to the bottom of four. Peaks lead, five to one. The catcher, Vander Higgs, will lead it off. She's 0 for 1 today. And she faces Blanco here and sends the first pitch into the seats foul. Takes strike two on the outside edge. Look out, they brush her back. One and two, the count. And a swing and a miss. Well early on the off-speed pitch there. And that'll bring the pitcher, Jimson, up to the plate. Still hitless for the season in his two games. But they're avoiding him nonetheless. 2-0 the count. He will take strike one. And he'll send the 2-1 pitch out into center field on a line. And that'll be a base hit for Jimson. Kanga Trang at the plate now. Has a home run and three RBIs through the first four games of the season. And this is going to be a base hit the other way. Inside outs the swing into right field. And two runners aboard as Pootstink steps in. 0 for 2 today, but 350 his average. Three home runs, all of them solo shots. And he pops this one up to center field. And this is going to be playable and caught by Middleman. And that'll be out number two here in the inning. Arlo Puffy. Two for two today. A pair of singles on his resume. Bars. Ball one high. Hit high in the air to left field. But this will be playable. Samplemore makes the catch on the track. And that is three outs. The Peaks strand two runners in that inning. We head to the top of the fifth. And the Chompers come to the plate trailing by four runs. Bertram Swingens, 0 for 1 today. As Jimson delivers ball one just off the plate inside there. The 1-0 pitch is hit through the left side of the infield. A little grounder base hit to start the inning for Swingens. And the pitcher comes to the plate. I believe this is uh, game two in the eight game homestand. We have a bunt situation here. And the AI in this game has a tendency to pop up bunts if you put them high in the strike zone. And you have a chance for a double play, getting the runner off of first. So we're going to keep it high here and hope we can get the pitcher to pop it up, which he does. Jimson makes the catch. And that bun attempt fails. And that's one away for Brickley Flounder with a runner at first base. Next item on the agenda 
for Jimson is to get a ground ball double play. And so to that end, we will keep the ball low in the zone and try to get a ground ball. Of course, a strikeout would work as well. It's one and two to Flounder. And he hits this one in the center field, caught by Trang. And the runner forced to retreat back to first. <clears throat> two down now in the inning as Ray Middleman strides to the batter's box. And he hits this one deep to left field. And that was still rising as it crossed the barrier. That's going to be a two-run homer for Middleman. Jimson makes a mistake there and pays for it to the tune of two runs. Chompers now only trail by a couple, 5-3 to three the score after the two-run long shot as Greenman steps in and takes ball one. One and one the count on Greenman. That is off the plate and away. Two and one the count now. Does this game have a campaign mode kind of thing where you earn achievements for certain plays like Grand Slam and whatnot? It does have achievements um, for those things. Um, just like Steam achievements, you know. Um, but I don't think they have any sort of like in-game effect. Um, but there, there are certain things like, yeah, a grand slam is one. Your first home run is one. Um, striking out three batters, throwing out a runner trying to steal second, things like that. There's all kinds of achievements that you can get. Bob Fatfuck will lead off the bottom of the fifth and take the first pitch, pitch from Blanco inside. Ball one. Sends the 1-0 pitch high into the air. Middleman makes the catch in center just shy of the warning track. And Tina Passme will step in one for two with a single in today's contest. And he takes the first pitch outside, ball one. That one's right over the plate, one and one the count. Blanco misses there, two and one. And a little late with the swing, the 2-2 pitch is off his hands and it bounces off the chest of the third baseman out into left field. That's going to be a base hit, or will they call that an error? Let's see. Nope, they give him a base hit. Dash Riprock at the plate, two for two with a home run and a single today. Has a runner on base here and takes strike one on the outside corner. Ill-advised swing there. That is off the end of the bat, pull cued towards third. The runner moves over, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, call it a sacrifice. As Dinga steps in, two away, runner at second, and he pops this one back behind the plate, 0-1. Oh Way outside in the left-handed batter's box, 1-1 one one the count. And a pretty good pitch to hit there, but he's just behind on the swing, fouls it away. Another shattered bat. King makes the catch, steps on the bag, and ends the inning. Another runner stranded by the Peaks at second. They lead by two as we head to the top of the sixth inning. Heidi Samplemore will lead off the sixth for the Chompers. The pitch from Jimson is hit on a line to right field, and Puffy is there to make the catch. One down, one pitch, one out, and Flown King will step in. First pitch misses low with the cutter. 1-0. and oh. And that curveball is across for a strike. The 1-1 incoming. And this is popped high into the air. Center field. Trang making the signal. Hey, Hengamer. How you doing, my friend? Long time no see. Nice to see you. I hope everything's been well for you. Yeah, it has been a long time. I took a couple of years off. I was uh, busy with with real life things. And uh, for some reason, over the last couple of months, I've had a lot more free time. So uh, after losing all three of the jobs I was working because of the uh, pandemic, I uh, am back to streaming. 
to try and fill up my day a little bit. Two outs here in the top of the six. Philippe Roca at the plate. And the first pitch from Jimson is fouled away. Hope everything is going well for you. I hope you're dealing well with the uh, all the nastiness happening in the world. Hope all you and yours are healthy. That's a foul ball off the bat of Roca. You're all good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. The 0-2 pitch just missed. He wanted that one. And the 1-2 coming from Jimson. Norway didn't get hit as badly. Good. Good, good, good. Count even now. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch is fouled away. We'll have another one coming in. Another 2-2. And out to center field. Trang slides but has to play it on a hop. And that'll be a two-out single. Here is Nino McFurlow. Shortstop for the Chompers. He bats here with two outs and a runner at first base. And he will take strike one from Jimson there. Hit on the ground. Dingus up with it and out with it. Third out of the inning. We head to the bottom of the six now. I've played a little bit of City since I came back, but I've just really been loving this baseball game and missing baseball, having not having it around in the States for, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, I decided to play a little bit of this. Really been enjoying it. That is well hit down the line, but it's hooking foul. As Vander Higgs watches strike three go by. And that'll bring Jimson to the plate with one down here in the bottom of the sixth. Line drive, but right at Flounder, who gloves it and records the out. Kanga Trang will bat here with two away. And there's a drive to right center field. High and deep and off the top of the wall. That's going to be a double for Trang. Made a lot of City Skyline maps, three of them ending up uh, in the top of the week. Nice, right on, man. Good shit. Congrats on that. Here's Jimmy Pootstink at the plate. Takes ball one, high and tight. And lets that one go by, is a little high for his taste. Fouls this one back, one and two, the count on Pootstink. And another ball, two and two. That is a drive. Does it have the distance? It's going to be off the wall. Another run will score. This is going to be an RBI double for Pootstink as he pulls up at second. Arlo Puffy at the plate now. Has a couple of singles today. Has a runner at second here. And he will take strike one from Blanco. Back up the middle off Blanco's glove. Can they recover? No flounder boots it. And everybody's safe. Runners at the corners for Fat Fuck now, who's one for three with a double and a couple of RBIs today. And this is going to get through the right side. Another run will score. Seven to three. The tally now as Pass Me steps in. And the Peaks with a rally here in the bottom of the sixth. And this is going to be popped up. Should end the rally here. And it does as Samplemore hauls it in in left field. That was a fortuitous fumble. And what folly for the fielder. We head to the top of the seventh inning. Bertram Swingens will lead it off for the visiting Chompers. Jimson still sitting at seven strikeouts on the day. And delivers a ground ball that Rip Rock backhands it short. Deep in the hole, a long throw, but he makes it in time for out number one. We will have a pinch hitter now for Blanco Persimmon Buffums. All right. Hengamer, thank you for the follow, my friend. And enjoy your lurk. Nice to see you in the chat as well. Good to be here. 
Here's Persimmon Buffums. Pinch hitting in the pitcher spot here, top of the seventh inning. One away, nobody aboard. And she will take strike one on the outside edge. Ball one as the curveball misses there. One and one the count. And there's a strike two. One two pitch coming to Buffums. Popped off the hands. Shallow left field. Call it deep short as Rip Rock makes the snag. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Here's Flounder. They start him off with an off speed pitch on the outside corner. Coming back with a high fastball. That's hit high into the air. Right field. Puffy going back to the track and hauls it in. And we will have a pitching change now for the Chompers. But before we do that, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for your seventh inning stretch. <laughs> There's your seventh inning stretch for game number one of the day. A little jazz guitar. Take me out to the ball game. Hope you enjoyed that. As we head back into the action, Buffums, who pinch hit for the pitcher in the last inning, will come out. Hedwig Samplemore will be the new pitcher. And she has a massive 67.5 ERA. And she is coming into the game already rattled. We head to the bottom of the seventh inning. Dash Riprock will lead it off. He's two for three today with a homer, followed by Dingus and Vander Higgs. And they are looking to score some runs on this pitcher who is having trouble with her accuracy. The ball, one, and this is outside. One and one the count now. And that is low, two and one. They're going to work some pitches out of this arm. Got underneath it, popped it up left center field. And that'll be one away as McFurlow pulls it in. Spike Dingus up now, one for three with a single. 364, his average through the first four games. And that is a line drive to right field, but right at Roca, who makes the catch for out number two. Klebel Vanderhiggs at the plate. Takes strike one at the knees there. And fouls the next pitch away. 0 and 2 the count. That is going to, ooh, be caught by a diving McFurlow. A heck of a play at shortstop there to retire the side. As we head to the top of the eighth, Chompers coming up down by four. It'll be Middleman, Greenman, and Samplemore. Here's Middleman. He has a home run for the Chompers today, responsible for two of the runs on the board. He swings and misses at the inside fastball from Jimson there. Taking ball one as the curveball misses low. The 1-1 pitch is hit on the ground to Dingus, who's been busy today at second base, and that's a ground ball out to start the inning. Mildred Greenman is next at the plate. The veteran catcher for the Chompers takes strike one, and the curveball is over for strike two. And that is rocketed right back up the middle. Trang cuts it off and runs it in. And that will be a one-out single. And Samplemore will come up with a batter aboard. One away. And drive this one to left field, not coming back. That's going to be a round tripper. Her second of the year, that one goes 470, or excuse me, 407 feet over the big wall. And we go back to Flown King. Five to seven now the score. Colorado Peaks still on top as King steps in. And they may have figured out Jimson here as they have started to uncork some bats here in the top of the eighth. 
And that's a line drive out to left. Pass me on the run. Makes a nice catch there. Heading over towards the line. That'll bring Philippe Roca into the ball game to bat here against Jimson. Two away in the inning. And that is strike one. At the knees over the middle of the plate. Ground ball to Pootstink. He will glove it. Step on the bag. And that'll be the third out of the inning. As we head to the bottom of eight, peaks up by two and coming to the plate. Bars. Here's Crimp Jimson. And we will have a pinch hitter for Jimson as his day will be done. A very good showing from Jimson. He finishes the game with seven strikeouts. And Presentable will come in to pinch hit for the pitcher, Jimson. And it's 3-0 and on the pinch hitter, Presentable. And he will take his base. So a leadoff walk to start the inning. And here's Kanga Trang, three for four, a double and two singles on her CV today. And that was a pretty good pitch to hit. She couldn't get around on it though. And gets under that one. And that's popped up to the middle of the infield. Flounder is there. And snatches that one out of the air, bars. Jimmy Pootstink is the batter now. One away in the inning, runner at first base, and the first pitch is inside for a ball, as is the second one, 2-0. and oh. And that one catches the corner, 2-1 and one the count on Pootstink. And it goes to 3-1, and another walk issued in the inning. Two runners aboard now, both by walk as Arlo Puffy steps in. And the Peaks are going to sit back at the plate and make Samplemore throw strikes as she is having difficulty doing so. One and one the count on Puffy. And that is back up the middle. That's going to drop for a base hit. Another run will score as the runner rounds third. And it's eight to five. Peaks back up by three as Fat Fuck strides to the plate. Two for four with a double and a single. Three RBIs for him today. And he takes the first pitch low for ball one. That one's inside, 2-0 and now. Sitting back and waiting for a strike from Samplemore. And it's not going to come. The third walk of the inning as Fat Fuck strides down the line. And the bases are now loaded for Tina Passme. If they're going to walk a run in, we're going to let them. 2-0 and the count on pass me and he is taking all the way 3-0 and now and that comes over the plate finally a strike from Samplemore strike two full count now bases loaded and he jacks that one into left center field does it have the distance it does not caught by Middleman a run will score on the deep fly ball it's 9-5 and Dash Riprock steps in, two for four with a home run and a single. And we're going to have a pitching change. S Samplemore will come out. Butterman will step in now to take over on the hill. And deliver strike one to Riprock. And that catches the lower outside part of the zone. A little high there. One and two. Fat fuck fouls that one away. The one two pitch is lifted into center field. Coming over is Middleman, and that'll end the inning. And Ox Slipperton is going to come in to close this one out in the top of the ninth inning. Chompers trail by four, bottom of their order coming up. Peaks score two in the bottom of the eighth to increase their lead to four, and Nino McFurlow is going to be the batter here, the first to face Slipperton. And Slipperton's first pitch is up and away in my beautiful balloon, ball one. 
fouled off there. One and one, the count. And the fork ball drops through the zone there. Good pitch from Slipperton. Count even now. Two balls, two strikes. And there is a weak foul ball bouncing off the plate. And it will remain two and two. Another broken bat. Oh, Pootstink dives but can't make the catch. And it remains 2-2. Two -two. And it is now a full count on McFurlow as the changeup misses high. Fly ball center field. Trang moves to her right, makes the catch. One down in the top of the ninth. Chompers down to their last two outs here and needing to score four to keep the game alive. Strike one on the outside corner. Good pitch from Slipperton there. And the Ox puts the curveball over. 0-2. Oh and, and this is weakly hit towards third. Fat fuck bare hands on the run. And the out is made at first base. The Chompers now down to their last out. Celeste Butterman is their last hope. And she will come out of the game. Carlito Reyna will come in as a pinch hitter. With two outs here in the bottom of the ninth, his team down by four. And they're going to have to do quite a bit to keep it alive. That is a start as that gets under the glove of Pootstink out into right field. And that'll be a base hit. Brickley Flounder at the plate now. The pitch incoming from Slipperton is over for a strike. Fork ball drops through the zone. And the 0-2 is hit on the ground. Rip Rock dives, makes the play. The throw to first, not in time. Everybody's safe. And the game will continue. Two outs here in the top of the ninth inning. Two runners on base. The tying run for the Chompers in the on-deck circle. They'd rather not have him get to the plate. The 0-1 is right in there for a strike. 0-2 pitch coming to Middleman here. And that's popped up behind first base. Pootstink has a bead on it and makes the catch. And that'll do it. The Peaks win. And they are over 500 for the first time in franchise history. Your final lines for the Chompers. Five runs on 11 hits, one error. For the Peaks, nine runs on 15 hits, no errors for them. The winning pitcher, Crimp Jimson, goes eight innings, strikes out seven, gives up two home runs on nine hits. Blanco gets the loss. He goes six innings, gives up a home run, strikes out two, six earned runs on his record. Your first star, Bob Fatfuck, with three RBIs. Dash Riprock also with three RBIs. Samplemore gets the third star with her two-run homer. And we'll head back to the franchise hub. And we will see what's going on around the league. Let's simulate those CPU games. Peaks improved their record to three and two. And gain a little bit of ground in the division. Let's skip all these. So the Thumpers are 6-0 and now. Undefeated on the year. Peaks two and a half games back. But they've played one less game than the Thumpers. But sitting a lot better than they have been with a winning record for the first time in forever.